Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 21, Verse number 13. So this is continuation of learning Gita. How gopis, they are expressing their love for Krishna while projecting it on all other living beings of Vrindavan. So, in the previous one, we read how they were also expressing this on the wives of the devas, projecting it onto them. Now they speak in this verse about the cows. Gavascha Krishna Mukha Nirgata Venu Gita Piyu Samutta Bhita Karna Putahi Pibantya Shavas Mutas Tanapayaha Kavalas Mutas Tho Govinda Matmani Drishashu Kalahas Prashantya. So 
So now they are saying that not only babies or divine lady, but even the cows, they are in love with Krishna and they are attracted to the sound of his flute. So Krishna Mukha Nirgata Venu Gita Piyusam Uttabhita Karna Putai Pivanti. So they are drinking the nectar of the song coming from the flute of Krishna with the cups of their ears keeping them up. So this is what the cows are doing. That means they are grazing. But when they hear the flute, they stop the grazing and they just stand in their ears. Otherwise, if they are down, the Amrita can fall down. So therefore, they are holding it, holding the ears, so that the nectar does not fall down. Uttabhita means up. So piyusam uttabhita karna putai pivant. They are drinking it with the putta. In Hindi, you call it dona cup. So their ears are big. How is her big ears? So that is like the cup. So filling up with the song of Venu, which is coming from the mouth of Krishna. So Krishna Mukha Nirgata Venu Gita. It's coming from the mouth of Krishna, and then entering into the flute, and then coming out with different notes. And this is what they are drinking. And not only that, but also the calves. Shava smutastana paya kavala smutastu. So the calves also, when they hear this sound, then they also stop drinking the milk. So smutastana paya, there are cows. So cows, their udder becomes full of milk when Krishna plays flute. They have done also experiment that cows give more milk when they play music. So Krishna already knew this. So when it was time for milking the cows, he will play flute. And immediately the cow's udder becomes full of milk. But the problem is that the calves, they don't drink because they also want to drink the nectar of his fruit. So that means for them, this nectar which is coming out from the fruit is more relishing, more nourishing than actually the milk from the body. Because it says, Snuta Stanapaya. Even the milk which has come out and which they have taken into their mouth, even that they are not drinking. So they stop. They can also hear and drink, right? Like you, talk, you eat and you talk, or you can eat and play music and listen to the music. So why they are not doing this? That means for them, this hearing the flute is more important. It's like you are eating and listening to the music. For you, eating is more important than listening to the music. If listening to the music was more important, you won't be able to eat. So for this calf, this is their diet. So they wait whole day for it. But when Krishna plays flute, then they stop. So smutastanupaya, kavalasana. And if they are grazing, then also kavala means the morsel in their mouth. So they don't swallow it. They stand with the grass in their mouth and they stop it. So that is the power of his fruit. Means everybody stops their activity. Just like we saw earlier that these other living beings, they go on top of the hill. Adri, Sanu, Abrata, and Samasta, Sattva. And they stop all their activities. And just listen to that. 
So this is the power of Krishna's love. When this float it plays, it is his love for all living beings. Because love is the most powerful and most attractive thing. Means even things which nourish our very existence, our body, even that is less important. And this float was also shown in Brahma Mohan Lila. That how the Vrajvasis they loved Krishna more than their own children, or to speak of their own self. And even the cows and the calves, because the calves ran to drink the milk, although they were already another set of calves. And it was already one year which has passed. So here we see, so it is not. Because in case of cow, you can say that they have vatsalya bhav. Therefore, they are attracted to Krishna. But here, there is no vatsalya bhav. These calves do not have anything like that. So, they are attracted. Because Krishna's flute attracts everything. That's why he is Krishna. He attracts everyone. So Govinda Matmani Drishasru Kalas Prishant. So they are embracing Govinda in their heart with tears in their eyes. So there every verse we see that gopis are describing some anubhav or sanchari bhav of love. Like for the devis, they describe that their dresses became loose. Before that, they describe for the trees giving honey. So everybody is expressing their love to Krishna. So here, the Cows also have tears in their eyes and the calves and they are listening. So, Drisha Asrukala Sprishantya. So, Sprishantya means Alingantya. They, they cannot go and embrace Krishna, but they are embracing in their heart. So, Nachestri Jati Nam Sarvasam Etat. Kama vijrambhitam eva etam mohanam iti vachyam yato vatsalanam gavam api mohanam pashyata ityahu bhavas So one should not think that only the women who have feelings of love towards Krishna because they are attracted to him like male and female relationship and therefore they are bewildered because they spoke about the doors and also the women of the heaven. So it is not that just because they have this Madhurya relationship or attraction towards him as male, but even the cows which have Vatsalya Bhav, <coughs> even they are attracted by the float. So here, of course, one should not think that how the gopis are now talking about cows where Vatsalya Bhav and their relationship is Madhuriya with Krishna. So this will become a rasa bhas. Mm-hmm. Because Vatsalya and Madhuriya, they don't mix together. So this is description of prema in general, not of Vatsalya. So, Kshadam Sankhya Eva Uttabhitair Unnamitai Karnaputai Pibhantya Eva. So, why their ears are up? Because they do not want that this Amrita, which comes from the fruit, spills down. So, that's why they are drinking with ears up. And they are standing, Tasthu, 
they are not moving they become still so there is also the stamban or jadya nacha tatra pe vatsalya bhav hetu rastiti vachya and there also it is not the reason because they have vatsalya bhav that is not true so therefore say yato bhav shunya naam api mohanam pashyate tiyah that even those who do not have any bhav means any specific relationship cars do not have any vatsalya or sakya etc relationship with krishna they just have normal preeti shanta so even they are attracted so shava means vatsala kaps stan pane pravrtta samanantaram eva geetam shrutva tadev piyusha muttabhit karana putai pravan stan pan asamarthya so when they are drinking they will stop hmm? so we are talking about the kaps so they are stanpane pravritta samanantaram eva geetam shrutva the cows they were drinking the milk from their mothers and at that time itself they heard the flute so then they stopped tadeva piyusham uttabhita karna putai pravanta so they stopped drinking the milk and they start drinking the nectar so milk they were drinking with their mouth and this they are drinking with the ears so mouth is only one ears are two so two is more than one so therefore it takes out so tabhitai sain karna putai pivanta stan pana asamarthya because at that time they were unable to drink the attraction of the flute is so strong that they cannot drink milk just like if you are eating and outside somebody comes or some music and you become eager you want to see what happened or somebody is fighting so you you leave your mm-hmm. meal and you want to go and see right sometimes it happens something very interesting could be somebody has come or some event is happening so you you drop eating you stop eating and you go you cannot just go on eating because your mind is not there so it is like that their mind is completely captivated by the flute mm-hmm. that they cannot drink otherwise kaf whatsab shodartha right is giving this example vritrasara <coughs> vatsatara yatha shodartha so mano dilakshate says my mind is eager to see you like the calves who are hungry shudhartha so when calves are hungry they don't see anything else they just run for the udder they want to drink milk you have seen how eager they are because they feel so much hunger but this attraction of the flute is even more captivating that sh- that is to show the power of this स्तनेभ्यस्तनेभ्यस्तनुतानां पयसां कवल एव मुखेन तु निर्गलनं येषां सो इवन द मिल्क व्हिच इज इन देयर माउथ दे डोंट स्वॉलो इट इवन दैट स्टॉप्स दे जस्ट स्टॉप इन देयर एंड दिस इज स्टॉप इन देयर ट्रैक्स सो लाइक दैट कंप्लीटली स्टंड व्हाट इज दिस सो ते तस्थु जाड्योदयन स्पर्धा बभु सो दे मैनिफेस्ट दिस सात्विक भाव कॉल जाड्यो स्तंभ देर फोर दे गेट कंप्लीटली स्टंड कैन नॉट मूव ततश्च तन मात्र गोविंद दृशा दृष्टिया आकृष्य आनीय नेत्रंध्रद्वारेण अंत प्रवेश आत्मनि स्वमनसी स्पृश्य स्वमनस क्रोड़ एव वात्सल्या 
sthapyanta stastu. So at that time the mothers, the cows, they pull Krishna through their eyes. And they look at Krishna when he's playing and through the holes of their eyes they take him inside. Because the form can only go inside through the eyes. The sound goes inside through the ears. So therefore they take Krishna's form inside their heart through the holes of their eyes and they touch it there, means they embrace it and they put him in the lap of the mind. So Mamsa Koda Eva Vatsalyat Sthapyam. So they just like a mother places the baby in the lap, like that they place him in the lap of their mind. So and then they stand there. Tatha Ashuni Anandat Kalyanti Dharyanti. And then Ashrukala. So then the, the tears of love flowing from their eyes. So in the eyes there are tears and in the body there is Jadya, Stambha. And the mind there having Krishna. Evamcha Sarva Praninam Krishna Nirupadhireva Prema. So in this way all living beings have prema for Krishna and this prema is nirupadhi means it is unconditional. It is not that they are having prema because they want something from him but without any desire to have any anya sunya, pure love unconditional love. So prema kintu te sanyogat dhanya vayam tu vichedat adhanya. But they have union with Krishna, so therefore they are fortunate. And we are not having, we are having yoga. We are having separation, so we are adhanya, we are unfortunate. Iti etavan eva vishesha iti bhava. This is the difference. So what they are saying is that everybody has love for Krishna. We also have love. The cows have love. What is the difference? Cows are with him and we are here. So cows are able to actually see him. And we can only hear the flute but not see him. So this is the difference. Because they are not in the forest. Cows can see, cows are there in Krishna. The question about these calves, um, does it mean when they describe the calves as um, drinking milk and then stopping, would it mean that the calves went together with the cows out for grazing? Yes. At least now this, in this context, yes. Okay. But normally the cows would stay in, in the village? But they will be separate. They have not also come there. Just like earlier we read that cows were on the hill and calves were down. Prayo Kalayantika Arth, how they have uh, made it to Dharayanti? Kalayantika means to kal- Kalpana ya kuch, uh, Srijan Karna ya kuch. That is Kalp. That is separate Dhatu. Which, which Dhatu is this? Kalp. What is the meaning of this Kal Dhatu? Dhar, dharan. Can have many meanings. Kalana, like collecting, eating, missing. Halikali, there are two dhatus in Sanskrit. 
हिंदी ब्रज भाषा ब्रेकफास्ट कलय हो गया संकलनम संकलनम यू नो संकलनम व्हाट इज संकलन तो क्यों मुझे हम इकट्ठा करना संकलन सो सम इज जस्ट ऑब्जर्व इट इज फ्रॉम कल धातु हम कल यू नो द क्लास इन इंग्लिश वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम कल धातु what is class people students together right yes so bhatu ane kar se bhatu so it can mean eating it can mean dharan and it can mean to be together so that's why it is called to kalasmi sarv lok shay krit pravad time i am and to eat everybody kal ke gal mein gaye na bol rahe going into the mouth of kal time but what this kala yanti was it in the mula verse ashru kala oh i have kula kula प्रायो विहगा मुनियो वनेदुदित कल वेणु गीत जनरली दर्ड्स इन दिस फॉरेस्ट are munis sages so why is that because krishna ekshitam taduditam kal venu geet so they are also listening to the venu geet now this is another word kal here kal means also beautiful kal venu geet means beautiful sound this is the word kala is used in sangeet so taduditam which has come from him krishna ekshitam so such such music is seen only in krishna not anywhere else nobody plays music like this krishna ekshitam taduditam kala venu geetam so aruhiya ye drum bhujan ruchira pravalam shinvanti so even these birds are listening while jumping on to the branches of the tree which have ruchira pravala which have beautiful leaves and milita drisho vidat anya vach and they are sitting there with closed eyes or half closed eyes like yogis and completely quiet no other word sound chirping coming from them just as if meditating so that is the bird so prayo bat amba so why amba is from where amba is coming here amba kala so in sambodhan so is dropped so this is sometimes at least here in this part of the world the ladies 
sometimes when they are in surprise or ecstasy they say oh my ya uh, oh ma oh mother like that so they are not calling for mother like a child sometimes child cries then he will hear him the mother while crying so same way in the state of happiness or expressing surprise they say oh mom oh amma oh mom especially in rajeria so prayo batamba vihaga so this is out of affection he is speaking so munayo vanesmin so these birds are like the sages and they are sitting on the branches so veda is also compared to a tree right nigam kalpataro so there are sages who hang on to the branches of the vedas <laughs> and these are the real sages who have given you know, given up the branches of the vedas <laughs> and they are hanging on to the trees of vrindavan so therefore druma bhujan means the branches of the tree which are like that as the branches of the vedas there are 1130 branches so they gave up that ruchira pravalan urdha mula madha sakha aswatam prahuravya chandansi yasya pranami so the leaves are the vedic mantras so that is the ruchira pravala so they are sitting on these trees which are like the vedas and the sages are absorbed not on the chandamsi not on the mantras of the tree the leaves but on the flute of krishna so shunvanti milita drusho vigatanya vacha therefore there is no discussion not what is said in kathopanishad what is said in brihadaranya kathopanishad all this discussion whether god is sakar nirakar all this has stopped because now when you hear krishna's flute then all this discussion all this vada vivada bhuva bhavanti right so va tasti nasti isti vivada bhuva bhavanti yat chaktayo so krishna's various potencies make people debate that this is asti it is there it is not there it is sakar it is nirakar so when you hear krishna's flute all that drop atma ramas chamunyo nirgantha purukrame even the atma ramas they give up on that tasya arvind nena sapadarvind kinjal katus किंजल के मिश्र तुलसी मकरंद वायु अंतर्गत स्वरेण चकार तेषा अक्षर जुषा संक्षोभम अक्षर जुषा भी चित्तन सैवंद कुमार इज वन दे सॉ ऑल द प्रीवियस्ली दे वर्स थिंकिंग वी आर ग्रेट दिस दैट दे कर्स द गेट कीपर्स इन वैकुंठ जैन विद बट वन भगवान विष्णु वॉक्ट इन and they just got little fragrance through the air makaranda vayu they did not come in contact with krishna or vishnu directly but the air which was carrying the fragrance from the leaves of tulsi so kinjal ka mishra tulsi makaranda vayu from his feet padarvindas tasyarvindanena sa padarvinda so that created some shock agitation in their mind they forgot everything and they just looked at him said oh my god and the chitta tanu their chitta and their body both heart and mind they were absolutely captivated they lost all their composer their peace because they are shant bhaktas so this is the power of bhakti and now here krishna is playing flute there is no comparison to this all the atmaramal they 
swoon in ecstasy. Forget about their Atma Ramattva. So that is being described here that Vigita Nyavacha means now there is no more doubt, no more discussion. So Vigita Hida Ganti Shidyanta Saushanche Shiyanta Chasya Karmani Drashtai Vatmani Ishvara. So by seeing all the doubts, go all the discussions, debates come to an end. जो श्लोक आपने भी कोट किया तस्यार विंद नैन से उसमें ब्रह्माकार वृत्ति में संक्षोभ हुआ ना उसमें ये बताने के लिए कह रहे हैं कि इवन दो देवर शांत मुनीस बट जो उनमें वो शांत शांति मतलब वाज़ तो ब्रह्माकार वृत्ति द पीस गोट एजिटेटेड देयर माइंड चित्तन तन सो वत्सा आपे नुशा ग्राहिन्यो विशारस एव तत्र उपाधिरस्ति इति आते आत्मरामः सो नाउ वन कैन सेवल इस काउज ओके काउज है वत्सल्ले भाव सो ही सेड फॉरगेट अबाउट काउज थिंक अबाउट द काउज दे डोंट हैव एनी वत्सल्ले भाव इवन दे आर अट्रैक्टेड सो देन सेवल एटलिस्ट दिस काउज दे हैव अट्रैक्शन फॉर मिल्क सो दे हैव टेस्ट फॉर विश but Atmaramas are those who are nirganthaya pure ukram. They are not having any taste for vishaya. Because anybody who has got taste for vishaya, for object of senses, can be attracted by sound. Right? So these, whether it is cow or a calf or divine ladies or the deer, they are all having experience of sense objects. So one can say, well, they are attracted to Krishna because he is also object of senses. So therefore now they are speaking about those who are nirvishaya, who are beyond senses, atmara, atmara maschamani, nirgantha. They are nirganthas, means they have no granthi no attachment, there is no granthi of heart, chitan, jada. They have risen above that, means liberated people. So they, are, they cannot be attracted by anything material, right? Like when Sukhdev Goswami was walking, so devya parida dhurnatu sutasyeti chitra, तद्विक्षक रचिते मनो जगदूत अवस्थे स्त्रीपुम भुदामन सुतस्य विविक्त दृष्टे। So they said that your son does not have any concept of स्त्री और पुम्शो, male और female। Why? Because he has विविक्त दृष्टे। His vision is not fixed on any sense object. That is the meaning of Vivekta. He is beyond that. That's why we did not care to cover our bodies when he was going, because it makes no difference to him. It's like these trees are here. So these trees are not thinking, these are women, they are dressed, these are women who are not dressed. It makes no difference to the trees, whether a woman in front of the tree is dressed or naked. So your son is like that, so therefore what is the point in covering our body? But you have that concept, therefore we are covering. So that is Atmaram. So that's what is being said here, that Vatsapi Vishagrahinyo. That calves also have taste of Vishaya, they are also attracted to sense objects. Visha rasa eva tatrupadhi rasti. Therefore, they can be attracted to something which is pleasing to the senses. That is the upadhi. Ata atmarama muniyo. But atmarama munis are beyond that state. So jnana na sarvane eva bhavan stakta vanto nirvakana. So they have given up everything. 
because they are situated in the knowledge of oneness with Brahman. So if everything is Brahman, then who is attracted to whom? There is no distinction of perceiver, perceived and perception. This is called Triputi Laya. So these three things disappear, the distinction does not exist. So therefore they are nirvikar. There is nothing which can bring any vikar, any transformation, any change in their mind. So why this is happening? Krishnena kshobhetum na shakya api So therefore you cannot say that Krishna <coughs> cannot disturb their mind. Grihit cheta rajar se akhyanam yadadhitva. So Shukdev Goswami says that my heart was captivated by hearing this very sloka which came in this chapter, Varhapyudam Natvar Vapu Karaneo Karni Karan. This is the sloka which Shukdev Goswami heard. And this caused a vikar, a transformation in his heart. Then he wanted to hear more about this person. Who is this person? Varhapyudam Natvar Vapu. So that is Krishna. So therefore he says that don't say that Krishna cannot attract the mind of sages, munis, atmaramas. He can attract their minds also. Yata sthanapi svamadhuryena akrishya sambodhanam bhavavisht pramadanam sahnam sambohati tiyahu prayati. So he attracts them also by his sweetness and bewilders them or makes them lose their fixity in Brahman. That is the moha from them. So Bataiti Vishmaya. The word Bata is used in the sense of wonder. How wonderful is Krishna's flute? Kalvenu Gitam. So Kala means very sweet sound. Ambaiti sakhin prati api sambodhanam bhava vishta pramdanam sadhave vesh. So this address Amba, O oh mother, although she is speaking to her friends, the lady friends, so he says that when they are overpowered by bhava, then ladies have such nature that this address like that is. So vihaga muniyayeva bhave yuritiyad. So these, these birds, they are certainly munis and not none other ones. Vanavasa dringa nimilana monayana chanchalyadi asadharana dharma darshana. So if they are muni, then they must have the characteristic of muni. Thank you. So this is a cow. How do you know this is a cow? So it's a sasnadi matum gottum. So cow has a lakshana. So then you have to see if the lakshana is existing in that object. So if you call these birds as munis, do they have the lakshana as the characteristics of a muni, of a sage? And he says yes. So number one, one was. They live in the forest. Sages live in the forest, they don't live in the downtown. Right? Dring Nimil and they, they sit with closed eyes. So look the birds sitting with closed eyes. And Mona. So silent. Why it is sound coming? So no talk, Maunavrata, that's why they are called Muni. And Neshchalya, completely stable, immovable. So these are the special characteristics of a sage. These are not found in birds. You don't see bird with closed eyes. Have you seen sitting, not moving? 
So they look like birds, but they are actually sages, because they have all the characteristics of the thing. So this is the asadharana dharma. So what is lakshana? Is the asadharana dharma lakshana. Lakshana is that which is the special characteristic. So yadrum bhujan aruhiya venu gritam And then they are sitting on the branch of a tree and listening to the flute song. Ruchira pravala niti drum bhujanam api venu gita anandat munijana sparsha anandacha ankuradi vikaro darshit. So why it is said here drum, drum bhujana ruchira pravala that they are sitting on the branch of a tree that was enough. Why did it say that they have beautiful new shoots coming out? So he says that even the trees, they are manifesting symptoms of love in the form of these fresh leaves coming out because of the fruit sound. So Venu Gita Anandat, Munijan Sparsha Anandat. So the tree is getting pleasure, bliss because of the flute song and also by the touch of these sages who are sitting there. So he is also manifesting the leaves out of love. So now you see another meaning of Kalayati here, Anupam. Just previously he said Kalayati Dharayanti. And now he says Kalayati Jagat Chittam Chobhayati. Kalavinu Gita. Hmm? So now he says that Kalati means that which causes agitation in the heart of the universe. That is called Kalavinu Gita. Kidrisham, what kind of flute song is it? He says Krishna Ekshitam. Krishna Eva Ekshitam, Nadu Shakra Parmeshti Rudra. Vishnu Shu Gana Sastri Shu Api Drishtam. So this type of song is seen only in Krishna, not in Indra, not in Brahma, not in Rudra, not in Vishnu, who are all composer of songs. They are all supposed to be great musicians. Indra is a great musician. Brahma also. Rudra. Yes. Nataraj dances, he knows music and Vishnu. So they also cannot play music like Krishna. Therefore, this Venu Madhuri, the sweetness of Krishna's flute is one of the special characteristic of Krishna out of the sixty-four qualities. Four are very special. So one of them is Venu There is nobody who can match this. That's what is being described. So Muninam Esham Ati Prachinatvat Tatra Tatra Sarvatra Avarit Gatitvat Bahusha Avkalita Tattad Gita Tvatcha Tattatakrita-sangeeta-shastra bhinjyatvachyati-bhava. So he says that these sages sitting here like birds, they are very old. They, are, they, have, they have been there for centuries. Sages live a long life. So they are, and they can fly anywhere. No one stops them. Kumara is going to do that. Meaning is that they have heard all types of music for many, many centuries in different, mm-hmm. different places. So the Bahuso Avkalit Tattad Gita. So they have heard various types of songs. And Tattat Krit Sangeeta Shastra Abhid Gyatva. So therefore they have knowledge of Sangeet, music. And because they have knowledge of music, they are now appreciating that there is nothing like this we have heard anyway. Nachasya ganasya kopi anna srashta sambhavet iti ahu So this type of music cannot be created by anyone else except by Krishna. Therefore it is said tad uditam. 
tasmat krishna deva uditam avarbhutam it manifests only from the fruit of krishna krishna eva asya shrashta iti geetasya ananya vedyatvam vanjita so only krishna can create such music therefore it is understood that no one else can make it it is not within the reach of others they cannot understand and then compose it ateva mm-hmm. brahma rudradi bhiriva krishnena sva sangeet shastram api grahaka sambhavade eva na kritam therefore just like others have propagated music brahma shiva indra etc krishna did not do that why because nobody will understand his music we will not have any any people <laughs> students who will understand it so therefore he did not come ateva ati apurva geet rasaswad vasad milindrash so therefore because these sages have never heard music like this apurva apurva means never experienced like that so now they are close their eyes like if you want to somebody is singing a raga you want to figure out which raga is he playing you have to actually close your eyes and concentrate and hear the notes which which note is he playing now so like that it's very wonderful so they are trying to figure out therefore they they will melit adrishna closed eyes vigata anyasya brahmananda anubhavasya api vak paraspar kathanam yesham te iti so vigata anya vacha anya vacha so they are devoid of any other speech so any other speech means the speech about brahmananda because their earlier experience is only about brahmananda so now they have given up that they are completely quiet so tamapi parityajya ami krishnananda matta eva bhuvan iti bhavan so now they are absolutely absorbed only in krishnananda and not in brahmananda so brahmananda bhavet chesha paradhikrata you multiply brahmananda by paradha so it cannot compare to one drop of bhakti ananda so that is what is being implied here by the gopis so it is actually gopis who have all the experience and they are speaking it for our benefit this ananya vedyatvam this means it is not even understood by even all these devtas hmm. and swas sangeet shastram api grahak sambhavad eva na kritam sambhavad uh, what is the meaning of this grahak or sambhavad no, there is no grahak no one who understand it so no one is going to buy it subscribers <laughs> no so, one can take it so what is the difference between matlab koi anya ananya vedyatvam and he did not make his own book he says swa sangeet shastram api nakritam you can any other question how would you ask yeah so these birds are not actual sages yes this is imagination of the gopis no you can also think that they are because everything so the, re- the reason i'm asking is you have explained before you know people have this concept that i can become a cow and raja in go of bird in both of them and you explain that you are not aware of any parampara that any guru at this issue is giving bird forms bird bow So, if these are indeed sages, hmm. then how do they happen to become birds? 
we don't have any parampara, but maybe in other yugas, somebody was there. And they have just taken form and sitting there. Sages can take form. They have come here to listen to his music, so they sit there like that. You can think that. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just was I wanted to ask about uh, the same point that Anupamji brought up um, when he's describing the the Gita of Krishna here as um, Ananya Vedyatvam. Mm. Then um, and thus there being no one able to grasp it because mm. it's incomprehensible to others. Th- is that specific to? In other words, how to, to play such music or how to compose such music? How to compose, oh yeah. No one can play it. Right? Later on, when sloka will come here. Indra Sakya Sarvana Tarkam. That Indra and there. No, it is not here, it comes somewhere else. And they hear, they are unable to figure out. Mm-hmm. Where did that sloka, that sloka come the other side? I thought it was in this chapter. Any other question? Hmm? You have something else? Babaji, I have a question. Mm. In uh, here, in the world musically, we have only seven notes for the music. So there are different notes in different places, like in the law, Brahma law, and other things. There are more notes and more music that way, other things? No, no, there are only seven notes. Mm. So do anybody explain how the Krishna's music is different than all of them? In any detail or anything? No. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yes. I'm still wondering the same thing. Like what, what is the incomprehensi- incomprehensibility that he's referring to here? When you have ragas, you know raga? so in ragas there are notes, specific notes which are used. So some ragas do not use a particular note in it. Pi is not used, or Pi is not used, or you don't use the Komal Pa or this and that. So that different Ragas, they have different different way of putting the notes, how they are applied. That's what you have to learn in case of Ragas. So he plays something which people who are expert in all the ragas, because there are thousands of ragas. And they cannot figure out which raga is he playing, but it's very attractive. It's very captivating, but what is the raga? Is it Darbari raga or is it you know, different types of ragas, malha and this and that. So that's what it means, avedya. My music teacher used to say there are 5,000 ragas. Yeah, but hardly so 50 ragas are known by all the people. Yeah, there are so many of them. You know, there are how many parts are there, some eight or something. And then you, you can actually make unlimited ragas. Mm-hmm. Because what is actually raga, originally it is the bhav of the heart. 
So now who is going to match the heart of Krishna? Probably only Radharani can match. So she is the only one who will understand. So the, all these different ragas, that's why they have diff- they are played. They said this is a morning raga, this is an evening raga, this is a midnight raga. Why? Because the moods are different in different times of the day. So originally these ragas, this, they signify a certain mood. Some ragas you hear, you feel very peaceful. Other ragas can make you more active. Some can make you like go into some kind of you know, indifferent mood, like depression type. So that they are related with the moods. And moods, how many moods you can have? Even when you say mood of love, you already have so many varieties. Why does this music has the power to uh, bring out the emotions in a person? I mean, what is the reason behind that? We have often experienced, and you also said, that sometimes in the morning our mood or emotion matches with a pers- uh, with a particular raga. So, what is the reason for that? That music has so much power that it can. Because ultimately, everything is vibration. Everything comes from sound. This solid matter which you see is actually not solid. If you see from quantum point of view, it is not solid like that. At that level it's all waves. That wave particle theory, you know. You know wave particle? So ultimately it's all Shakti. That's what we say, it is Krishna's potency, energy. And energy is a vibration. Energy is a vibration. What is heat energy? Science padaya to phir aise baat karta. Okay. What is heat energy? By the movement of the... When something is more hot, what does it mean? More kinetic energy. When their protons are running, they are vibrating faster. What is electricity? What is light? What is magnet? I mean, these are all, uh, these are the basic energies. Now science says that there are only four forces: too strong and too weak. So that is just a vibration. So everything is a vibration. And also that resonance also creates. So then. Yeah. Resonance means when your frequency matches with that. Yeah. That's what gives rasa. Yeah. What is a taste? What are colors basically? Color is just a wave, like different wavelength makes different color. When you have the sunlight, then what does it does it? The water drops when you see the rainbow. It is the light which has broken into different frequencies. Actually, that resonance, what science says, that resonance actually has a direct uh, connection with your mood. Okay, but that uh, is a scientific explanation. But from spiritual point of view, it has many much more deeper meaning. But this Atma is free of vibrations, right? This vibrations, what we are talking is only at the level of mind <coughs> and intellect maximum. So, it means that music only touches the mind, not the soul, right? So, but soul also can have spiritual body or not? It can have also spiritual mind. So, so these ragas, I mean, Jovi Malhar, Jo Malhar Raga and other Ragas, whatever the traditional, the Vedic Ragas, these are, I mean, these are to be considered a material vibration or a spiritual vibration? In the material world, they are material vibration, in the spiritual world, spiritual vibration. Because that concept of Gandharva and all those things in the Pura. 
one of them all those uh, scriptures. So that uh, conception actually talks about that uh, spiritual thing, but when later on it was translated into material world, so we try to give many ragas and all those things. Like that way we probably uh, go with that flow. But uh, it, there could be possible that uh, there are much more um, layers into it. Is there a way to distinguish whether a mu when a musician is playing, whether like I mean, it's a spiritual vibration or a, it comes in material vibration. How do we distinguish? I mean, the raga is the same, but if, suppose koi uh, bhakt kirtan kar raha hai, to we will say it's a spiritual vibration. Koi unnat bhakt agar kirtan kar raha hai. Isn't it like that? So, we are in which world we are living? Just like you, you offer food to Krishna, then you say this is spiritual food. Right? Right. So what does it mean? The same ingredients you have taken, because it has been used in Krishna's service, it is spiritual. You think it will not rot tomorrow if you keep it for two days? So if it is spiritual, then why is it rotting? So what is your, that's why I'm saying, what do you mean by spiritual? You are actually thinking of spiritual in a one way, and then you are asking in another way. So here now when we talk about spiritual means, anything which is used in the service of Krishna is spiritual. Otherwise same marble you use in the bathroom and same marble you use to make the deity. What is the difference? Same marble is used, it comes from same place. So one you say is spiritual, one is a passing stool there. can give the mic to him. So, I wanted to ask about this birds, cows, becoming birds or cows. Um, I remember and I would like to hear if I remember correctly that Rupa Goswami made some statement in Bhakti Rasamita Sindhu that when the Vatsalya behalf of a sadhaka is not perfected then the sadhaka becomes a cow or something like this? Did he say something in this regard? Where? In Bhakti Rasamita Sindhu? I don't remember. Okay. Okay, we'll stop. Nice. But tomorrow there is no class. So tomorrow there is no class, you can still hear. Ah, Sandeep, what are you talking about? I have a general question. Generally, ask me. Special question. Are you related to the class? Are you related to the class? Are you related to the class? Some people are celebrating this general thing. Today, some are celebrating tomorrow, we are celebrating tomorrow. So, that is based on that sunrise. That is what? Based on sunrise. Is it based on the sunrise? Like, how do you define it? Based on nakshatra. No. Based on nakshatra. Based on nakshatra. Based on nakshatra. There are many considerations. It's not as simple as you are thinking. Yeah. Position of Rohini Nakshatra? Yeah, Rohini Nakshatra and Tithi and all kinds of combinations are there. When it is starting, when it is ending, whether it is only an me and going to the Naomi and not. There, it is a big section. How to calculate that? Parastik is tomorrow, it's happening. Yes. 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 Yes.
अभी भक्ति विलास में इतने सारे श्लोक हैं ये कंडीशन वो कंडीशन सब देखना पड़ता है अभी तो दो दिन है समर्थ अश्चेत यू आर कैपेबल फास्ट नेक्स्ट डे ऑल्सो नॉट ओनली टुमारो बट ऑल्सो डे आफ्टर टुमारो ये स्पेशल कंडीशन दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव रिटर्न इन आर पंजे का दिमाग खराब हो जाता है उसको पढ़ने में इसलिए अच्छा है पंजी का देख लो कल फिर आते हैं यू वांट टू मोर डिटेल्स यू वांट टू पंजी का चाहिए